Welcome back to the Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Bryce, talking to you about you and your business. Uh, you're already in the final segment. Today brought to you in part by CAOOY.org, RichClub.org, and SKB.org. And also uh, glad to have uh, and, and supporting our program, uh, the very, very um, – Outstanding, uh, Chris Kidd. One of my favorite parts of my program is spending time with Chris, and uh, he's a, a business guy, a money guy, a money coach uh, who also has a great interest in the sports and the entertainment arena. And we like to talk about both. We have a lot of fun in, in that area. And uh, Chris, uh, also, you can learn more about him at uh, Chris Kidd. That's two D's dot com. And uh, we also have uh, Dan Shedd, who is a uh, intern with us, working with us um, on on the whole media front. And and uh, we're delighted to work with him. And he loves sports. And of course, Chris and I love sports. And so we're now really early in a football season. Although it sure seems like there's uh, some pretty clear uh, definition of what's going to happen. Uh, but I thought we'd talk a little bit about the football season. And uh, let me start off with, uh, with Chris. Chris, uh, your thoughts on uh, the first two weeks of uh, college and pro football? <laughs> well, I guess that uh, depends who you're talking about. But uh, there were certainly some things that I liked, uh, some nice surprises with uh, you know, my old school where I, where I went at uh, UTSA. They actually really surprised me with uh, the way that they played Houston um, that was is quite a turnaround from last year because last year Houston stomped them, and then this year it was kind of the opposite. Um, so th- that was kind of cool in our house because my wife and I both went to UTSA. Um, another surprise, well, they they yeah, almost beat Arizona the other day. You're not going to get much sympathy from this audience with that. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, I, maybe I should uh, apologize or something. <laughs> Oops. I do like Houston, though. In fact, uh, one of the one of the coaches over at U of H is uh, an ex-UTSA. In fact, he was their quarterback last year. And not only that, he also went to the same high school as me. So uh, that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, but, Very yeah, cool. I'm, I'm hoping the Cougars will uh, play a lot better this year uh, against everybody else. So what? Okay, so um, I thought, uh, you know, what I wanted to, you know, well, let me get Dan's assessment real quick. I want to talk a little bit about the Big Ten here in a mo- moment, which is, you know, the very little Ten uh, more and more. But, uh, Dan, what about your thoughts uh, the first two weeks? Let's go ahead and focus, because of our limited time, and that's what we began with, with college. Focus on college. Your first, uh, the, your thoughts on the first two weeks of college, Dan, said. I would have to say I'm most impressed with uh, Texas A&M. They have so much, you know, drama going into the season. What are we going to do with without Johnny? You know, is this team going to be as good as it's been in the past? And then, boom, they go into South Carolina, show them who's boss, and then they, you know, absolutely kill Lamar. And uh, I'm really excited about Texas A&M football and uh, – their new Kyle Field is pretty sweet. If you've ever seen pictures of the uh, new stadium, wow. Yeah, now, I mean, no one obviously thought that Lamar was going to beat uh, A&M. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I wasn't impressed by that win, but I was impressed by the uh, first win of the season against uh, a team ranked number nine. And now, of course, uh, uh, A&M is in the uh, top ten. So uh, it'll be interesting to see. I'm a huge A&M fan. I hope they do extremely well. Uh, they're certainly my favorite SEC team. So we'll have to see. Let's talk a little bit, uh, you know, the Big Ten, uh, the three uh, teams that had potential for playoffs, um, Ohio State, Michigan State, and Michigan, all fell miserably. They not only pay, played bad, but they played really bad. Your thoughts about the Big Ten? Are they about to become uh, uh, the new Big East, uh, uh, also known as the AAC? What do you think about that uh, there, uh, Chris? Well, like you said, they're kind of becoming the little ten. They they did not look good. But I'll tell you, uh, you mentioned uh, Michigan. Um, I'm a big Notre Dame fan, and I loved that game. I thought that was just awesome. Um, and I've got a, a couple friends that are uh, big Michigan fans, so that that just made it a little bit more sweet. But yeah, I think uh, that that conference is really uh, not looking as tough. Uh, one thing. Uh, 
I guess that, that kind of uh, plays into is the the college playoff that we'll we'll have to talk about here, um, you know, in an upcoming show. But uh, you know, if if you have a, a team from the Big Ten that's undefeated, and then you've got a team from the SEC that has one loss, and you've got four other teams from other conferences that that have, uh, you know, that maybe they're all undefeated as well. I definitely think that the SEC team should be in the in that playoff picture because that is definitely the you know the toughest or you know one of the top two conferences in you know in college football. Yeah. What about you, Dan? What do you think about the Big Ten? I was really surprised, actually, at the Michigan-Notre Dame score. Uh, I really thought Michigan was going to, you know, hold their own against Notre Dame, but, man, I was so wrong in so many ways. Wow. I'm depressed that that rivalry's over. I know. I I know. All these rivalries are just going to the wayside because, oh, we're moving to another conference, or, oh, we've already scheduled enough games. The whole realignment, I hate the whole realignment. I hate you it, know, too. Maryland and, and Rutgers are now in Big Ten, which may be good for Big Ten, you know, because, uh, you know, those ACC is certainly a better conference, and that's where those guys came out of, or at least uh, Maryland did. But uh, I, I just think it's all insane. All the alignment is insane. Uh, I, don't like, I don't like a lot of this realignment. And it's all about the money. It's all about the money. Yeah, I, I thought that uh, Notre Dame was going to win that game, but I thought Michigan was going to be competitive. 31-0 to zero is not competitive. That was embarrassing. Uh, and I personally don't think there's going to be an undefeated Big Ten team this year. I can't call that this early. <laughs> well, I don't think there is. Because, uh, the, you know, first of all, the, the, the three teams that were most likely to be undefeated have all lost, uh, have all lost games. When's the last time Minnesota's been undefeated? Oh, man. <laughs> you, you know that, what I'm That's saying? a good trivia question. Yeah, so, well, it's been a long time. So, yeah, I think Big Ten may be on life support, and that's tough because I'm a Big Ten fan, and even worse, I am a Big Ten, uh, I am a uh, Michigan fan. Uh, last weekend was, uh, I was literally nauseated by halftime, uh, and so um, very, very sad to see the last of this rivalry end in such a sad way. I'm not particularly happy with the way football's going, with the exception of A&M. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a long season for this guy who's been looking for it for several months. But you know what? It's one week at a time. So, guys, thanks so much for your help. You can reach Chris Kidd and learn more about him at chriskidd.com. Dan Shedd, he shows up uh, pretty much every day here on the program, whether or not I like it or not. Thanks to both of you gentlemen. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Kidd. When we come back uh, on tomorrow's program, we'll have much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at USDailyReview.com. While they're liking on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. Also, make sure you check out my most recent articles at HuffingtonPost.com. Have a great day. Spend it right here on this station. <laughs>